Good evening, Carla. Carla Angélica, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Fine. Okay, very well. ¿Cómo está su día? Bien, bien. Gracias bien. a Dios. Qué bueno. ¿Qué hizo ahora? ¿Le tocó trabajar? Sí, siempre trabajando, pero en casa. Ah, bueno, en casita, qué bueno. Bueno, aunque es un poquito más pesado algunas veces, ¿verdad? A veces sí, porque hay que hacer otras tareas de la casa. Cierto, tiene uno que estar pendiente de todo. Sí. Ok. Y con la plataforma, ¿cómo vamos, Carla? ¿Ha tenido tiempo de explorarla, de trabajar un poquito? Sí, ya voy en, en este... Esto, en el verbo to be. Oh, ok. Excellent. That's great. Arminda, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good How evening. are you? I'm good. I'm fine. Ok, excellent. How was your day? ¿Qué tal estuvo su día? Arminda, ¿qué tal estuvo su día? Bien. Todo bien. Un poco pesado siempre, sí. Ah, ok. Trabajando, me imagino. No, en casa con los niños. Ah, ok. ¿Cuántos niños tiene? Cuatro. Oh, you got four kids. Cuatro niños. Ok. Sí. All right. That's nice. ¿Y la plataforma, Arminda, ha tenido tiempo de trabajar en ella? Sí, sí, trabajé ahora. Muy bien, ¿y qué tal? Está bien. Ok. Me fue bien, gracias a Dios. Qué bueno. Okay. Sí, Marisela Salinas, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, Marisela? Very well, thank you. Ok, excellent. How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Mm, más o menos, trabajoso. So, so, ok. So you had to work a lot today. Tuve que trabajar bastante. Sí, bastante. Ok, what do you do? ¿A qué se dedica? Eh, auditor tributario. Oh, ok. All right, that's interesting. In the platform, la plataforma, ¿cómo vamos? Eh, estuve eh, poquito ahora, no he avanzado mucho. Ah, ok, pero ha iniciado, eso es bueno. Sí, sí. Ok, nice, keep going, hay que seguir. Yes. Doris Espinosa, good evening. Turn on your microphone, please, Doris. El micrófono, por favor, es que está apagado. Thank you. Now I can hear you. How are you? How are you? Fine, fine. Thank you. Okay, great. And how was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? ¿Cómo ha estado? Fine. Fine. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. And the platform, Doris? Have you been working on it? ¿Has estado trabajando ah, en plataforma? Un poco, ok. Sí, estuve viendo los videos. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Sí, pero el fin de semana me voy a poner a hacer los ejercicios porque este, sí solamente los estuve escuchando y creo que sí, de, de, de practicarlos, escribirlos y repetirlos. Muy bien, me uh -huh. parece. Eso. Ok, excelente, Doris. Salvador Gracias. Bueno, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Salvador? I am fine, thank you. And okay. you? Okay, good. I'm doing well, thanks. Uh, how was your day? 
¿Qué tal su día? Uh, good. So, so. It's been good. Okay. Nice. And the platform? En la plataforma he estado trabajando. Eh, me costó subir un link de donde hay que grabar eh, un audio, un audio. Mm, donde yes. hay que grabar un, un, un audio, hay que deletrear el nombre. Mm -hmm. Ok, un, pero sí pudo hacerlo, Salvador. Bueno. Con ayuda. Ah, <risa> pero ok. Sí, bueno, sí. está bien. Sí. Ok, excelente. Ahí estamos bien, gracias a Dios. Great. Okay. Wilfredo Mendoza, good evening. Hi. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. Excellent. How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Mm, fine. It's been fine. Okay. Great. And the platform, Wilfredo? La plataforma. La plataforma, ¿qué tal? ¿Ha tenido tiempo de explorarla, de trabajar sí. un poquito? Sí. Sí, ya este, estuve explorando, eh, desarrollando algunos eh, ejercicios que, que, que va mostrando pues, en la medida que uno va avanzando. Muy bien. Ok, muy well, bien, Wilfred. Thank you. Good evening, María José. How are you? Bye. Okay, nice. How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Very hard. Oh, you had a hard day? Why? A lot of work? Mucho trabajo? Yes. Okay. All right. And how about um, the platform? Have you been working on it? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Good. That's nice. Rebeca Peralta, good evening. Good evening. How are you, Rebeca? Um, so, a bit tired? Oh, tired, yes. Did you have to work today? A lot of the work. Okay. What do you do? ¿A qué se dedica? Eh, soy recepcionista. Oh, okay, you're a receptionist. Okay, that's nice. And how about the platform, Rebecca? Have you been working on it? Eh, sí, estuve trabajando un poco en la plataforma, pero poco. Pero sí he avanzado oh. en algunos ejercicios. Okay, the good thing is that you started already. Lo bueno es que ya comenzamos. Okay. Um, let me see, Elmer Salas, good evening. Good evening. Hi, good, good evening, evening, teacher. How are you today, Elmer? How are you? I'm fine, thanks. I'm fine, and you? And you? <laughs> I'm doing well, thanks. How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? I'm fine, and you? Okay, nice. Um, I have, uh, I had a good day today. It was fine. Yes, a little tidying, but okay. <laughs> and the platform, Elmer. ¿Qué tal con la plataforma? ¿Cómo vamos? Very nice. Okay, excellent. Um, I try the the. The make the exercise. Oh, okay. You started. Ya comenzó. Yes. Okay. All right. That's great. And uh, let me see. Campanita raised her hand. Eh, no sé quién está registrada hey. como campanita. Hello. Me... Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. Good evening. How are you? Uh, how are you? I'm fine, uh, thanks. And you? Uh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, how are you today, Miss? Uh, good. Uh, good. Okay, excellent. 
Um, ok, les voy a pedir nada más un favorcito. Necesito que revisemos el nombre con que nos hemos registrado. Recordemos la indicación de registrarnos con un nombre completo. Eso incluye dos nombres y dos apellidos. Si usted eh, aún no tiene su nombre como tal, puede cambiarlo. Ahí donde sale su imagen o eh, los que no tienen encendida la cámara donde sale eh, su nombre. Pueden dar clic en los tres puntitos que salen en la esquina superior derecha y ahí le va a salir una opción que dice rename, rename o cambiar el nombre. Ahí podemos modificar eso. Por favor, para los que no se han registrado con su nombre. Y sí les pido que tengamos cuidado en cada sesión de registrarnos con el nombre, ¿verdad? Para que podamos... Ten, tener esa comunicación y tal, porque yo acá voy viendo los nombres y también pues voy llevando un poquito ahí de la, de la asistencia, aunque no la tomamos como tal, pero pues sí voy viendo por ahí quiénes están conectados, quiénes no. Um, ok, so I think we are ready to start. Let's do it. Welcome to our second class, class number two. And uh, today we are going to start by talking about this lesson objective. So by the end of this lecture, participants will be able to use my, your, his, and here. And in order to introduce their names or to introduce a friend or classmate. So let's talk a little bit about possessives. Vamos a hablar un poquito de los posesivos y al final esperamos que eh, como participantes sean capaces de usar los adjetivos posesivos me, tú y su, my, your, his, and her, con el fin de presentar a sus compañeros y sus propios nombres. So that is what we are going to be working through today. So let's talk about possessive adjectives. And let's go to the platform first and watch the video 1.3. Let's see what it has. Okay, just let me get the video. Here we go. Everybody pay attention, please. And then we'll talk about it. taking long. There we go. Hi everyone. In this class we're going to learn how to use possessive pronouns. My, your, his, and her. Let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is listen to a quick conversation and then I'll illustrate how the grammar is used. What's your name? My name is Jennifer. What's his name? His name is Michael. What's her name? Her name is Nicole. What equals what is? Now, let's try to make sense of the possessives. Okay, let's repeat. Before we continue, let's repeat. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? My name is Jennifer. My name is Jennifer. What's his name? What's his name? His name is Michael. His name, His name is Michael. What's her name? What's her name? Her, her, name. Name. her name is Nicole. Her, her name, name is, is Nicole. Nicole. 
And what equals what is? That is the contractive form for what is. So you could say, what is your name or what's your name? What is his name? What's his what's name? name? What is your name? What is your, 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 your name? What's your name? What's his name? name? Her name. Her Very name. well. Okay, let's continue name? watching the video. Use the possessives whenever you want to express belonging. For example, my name is John. His name is Jason. Her name is Mary. Uh, as you can see on the screen, my name is Jennifer. His name is Michael. Her name is Nicole. Let me show you a quick guide to follow in order to understand this concept. I'll write the pronouns and the possessive. So let's see. I want to talk about the pronoun I and express some kind of possessive. I'm going to use my. For you, that will be my. Girl. For me, that will be his. I, I, you, your, he is what I is. And for she, that would she be uh, her. You are. Uh, so, you. for example, uh, my name is Joe. Your name is Jason. His name is Michael. Her name is Nicole. Now, let's try to put it all together by illustrating some examples. My name is Joe. Your name is Mike. His name is Peter. His name, name is Peter. His Her name is, Peter. is Janet. Her name is Janet. Okay, so that is what we have regarding possessive adjectives. Let me go back to the presentation. And uh, here we go. So as we heard in the video, possessive adjectives are words that modify a noun to show a form of possession, a sense of belonging or ownership to a specific person, animal, or thing. Los adjetivos posesivos son palabras que modifican un nombre para eh, mostrar posesión, es decir, a quién pertenece algo. En este caso, por ejemplo, estábamos hablando de nombre, my name. Estoy hablando de mi nombre. My When I say your name, I'm talking about something that is yours. Or I could say his name, then I'm talking about something that belongs to a boy or a man. And I could also say her name, that is something that belongs to a girl or a woman. So that's the, the objective of using possessive adjectives, right? Using or showing possession. Uh, each one corresponds to a subject. Tenemos un adjetivo diferente para cada uno de los sujetos, as you heard. So let's review them. We have uh, the subject pronouns I, you, he, and she. Remember that I, it's me, right? I, yo, you, I. usted, or tú. Then we have he is for a boy or a man, él, she, it's for a girl or a woman, ella. And then we have the possessive adjectives that correspond to each of the subject pronouns. Let's try to, to write them here. Uh, what's the possessive pronoun for I? My. My. What's the one that My. corresponds to you? Yours. Your. 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 Okay. Your. And then we have the one for he. His. 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 And how about the one for she? 
Her. 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 That's how they go. For I, I say my. If I'm talking about something that is mine, I could say like my cell phone, my cell phone, my pen. So that means that it belongs to me. And then we have for you, your, your, for example, your picture, your picture, your notebook. So I'm talking about something that is yours. Then his, we could say, for example, his bottle, his bottle of water, his um, exam. Then we have for she, we have hair, hair name, hair hair, hair house. So I'm talking about something that belongs to hair, to the girl or the woman I'm talking about. Now let's practice pronunciation. Everybody repeat, please. I. I. My. My. You. Your. Your. He. His. She. She. Hair. Okay, let's make some examples using possessive adjectives. We would say, for example, my name is Lil. What are some other examples we could use or we could say? Try to make one using my. Let's make another one using my. My. My name. My name. My name. My name okay. is my name Maricela. is Maricela. Okay, fine. So there you go. Now let's try to make one using your. Your name. Okay, your name. Your name is. Okay, very well. Hits. Make one using hits. His name. His name. He is Lucas. His name is Lucas. Lucas. Okay, perfect. Lucas. And now hair. Her name. Her name is Maricela. Her name is Maricela. Okay, very well. There we go. So those are some examples. And then remember that uh, apart from the names, we can talk about different things. So let me try to make some other examples. So you have a more variety. So we would say, for example, my car is new. So I'm talking about my car. It's my possession, right? And yeah. your notebook is big, for instance, your notebook. And let me see, let me make one with his. His house is beautiful. His house is beautiful. Here, and let's say yeah, her cell know. phone. Excuse me, what was that? Her cell phone is um, new. Okay, okay, let's say new. Good. Nice. All right, there we have some different examples, right? So we could use possessives to talk about anything that belongs to somebody. Podemos usar los posesivos para hablar de cualquier cosa que pertenece a alguien en específico. E incluso podemos utilizar, bueno, acá no los tenemos, todavía no vamos a estudiar esos, pero hay un posesivo que es it's, que se refiere a algo que pertenece a una cosa o a un animal. So, eh, the thing is that we must think about the owner. Acá lo que debemos de considerar es quién es el dueño de, de lo que estoy hablando. Por ejemplo, the name, de quién es el nombre. My name, your name, his name, or her name. Ahí vamos cambiando dependiendo de el nombre de quién sea el que estoy diciendo. And the same goes for the other things. Right? Sí, exacto. Depende de la persona que es la la que tiene cierta cosa o a quien pertenece cierto, cierta cosa, right? Eh, ok, Su everybody... es nuevo. Yes, her cell phone Here. is new. Here, eh, it means it's a, a girl's phone. 
significa que el teléfono pertenece a una mujer, ¿verdad? A una chica. Ok, everybody repeat, please. My name is Lily. My name is Lily. My name is Lily. My name is Maricela. My name is Maricela. Your name is Luis. My name is Luis. His name is Lucas. Your name is Lucas. Her name is Maricela. My car is new. My car is new. My car is new. Your notebook is big. Maricela. Your you not not is big. Your 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 not is his house is beautiful. Any questions? Here's so, the si tenemos preguntas, eh, pueden, pueden hacer preguntas acerca del contenido propiamente y también si por ahí ven alguna palabra que es nueva para ustedes, igual pueden preguntarme acerca del significado, ¿ok? So don't worry about it. If you have any questions, just no. open your microphone mm -hmm. and ask. Si tiene alguna consulta, ejemplo, en cualquier momento puede interrumpir, eh, abre su micrófono y puede hacerla. Diga. Por, ejem por ejemplo, Is, is eh, es un is? nombre masculino. O sea, Which él. One? Eh, Luis. His name mm -hmm. is Lucas. Oh, his name. Yes, his, uh -huh. eh, his refers to a man, something that belongs to a man. So I could say his name is Lucas, his name is Gilberto, for instance, if I am talking about a man. Si estoy hablando de algo que pertenece a un hombre, a un chico, a un niño, entonces voy a utilizar his. For example, mm. his ball is nice. His ball, su pelota, probablemente estoy hablando de un niño que anda jugando por ahí con una pelota, so his ball is nice. Oh, okay. And about something that belongs to him. And then we have the opposite hair. Y el opuesto sería hair, que es para mujeres. Mujeres, niñas, chicas. Por ejemplo, eh, el nombre de ella es Maricela. Yeah, her name is Maricela. Or I could be talking about uh, Maricela's hair, for instance. Si hablamos del cabello de Maricela. Her hair is uh, long, for instance. Her hair is oh, long. Okay. Su cabello es largo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? No more questions? Okay, let's continue then. Okay, now let's talk about our favorites. Uh, here we have some questions. What's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? What's your favorite sport? What's your favorite movie? Favorite. What's your favorite, favorite. book? book. So uh, we have, what's your favorite color? ¿Cuál es tu color favorito? What's your favorite food? ¿Cuál es su comida favorita? Then what's your favorite sport? ¿Cuál es su deporte favorito? What's your favorite movie? ¿Cuál es su película favorita? And what's your favorite book? ¿Cuál es su libro favorito? Then uh, what we are going to do is to go to the breakout rooms for a moment and uh, talk to our classmates. Let's share this information with them. Vamos a compartir con nuestros compañeros las respuestas a estas preguntas. Para responder, uh, remember that we say my favorite. And uh, we would say, for example, my favorite color is... And then we say red, pink, black, or whatever color you choose. Right. My favorite uh, food is pasta, um, chicken, um, seafood. Excellent. 
Or you say pizza. my favorite pizza, that's right, hamburger. My favorite sport is swimming or my favorite sport is soccer. My favorite sport is basketball and so on, right? So that's how it goes. My favorite and then you say color, food, sport, movie, book is, and then you mention what it is. And okay, and I need you to answer the questions and also I need you to take notes, please. Necesito que también tomemos nota porque al volver vamos a, a presentar algunas de algunos información de, la, de los compañeros. Entonces, eh, necesito que, por ejemplo, si yo estoy trabajando con Salvador, yo anoto ahí las respuestas de Salvador. His favorite food is eh, pasta. His favorite color is blue. His favorite sport is soccer and so on. Ahí voy anotando porque cuando vengamos vamos a compartir un poco. Ready? Is everybody ready? Estamos ready. listos? Yeah. Yes. Okay, excellent. Let me send you to the breakout rooms. <clears throat> it would be groups of three or four people. So here we go. I'm opening the rooms and I'm sending you a picture of this or a screenshot of this <coughs> to the WhatsApp group. De igual forma, les mando captura de esto al WhatsApp group y los envío a los breakout rooms now. There we go. Buenas noches, teacher. Hi, good evening. Buenas noches, Carlos. Eh, no lo envía ningún... Disculpe que... Mm. No, es que recién me he podido agregar a la, oh. a la clase. Ok. Estaba en otra actividad. All right, that's fine, don't worry. Eh, we are working in the... We are working in the breakout rooms. Estamos trabajando en las salas. Estamos respondiendo algunas preguntas. Lo voy a enviar a una sala para que se ponga el día y con los, con los compañeros. Y que puedan compartir, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. Here we go. Ahí ya lo envié. No sé si le cayó la notificación. Ok. Next. Hello. Okay. okay. My question and um, um, me your question. Oh, okay. Uh, what on. is your favorite color? Uh, my my favorite color is blue. What is your favorite food? Uh, my favorite book is uh, Cenicienta. What is your favorite sport? My favorite is swimming. Swimming. Yeah. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is um, 
Hamburger. 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 Okay. Hamburger. Hamburger. <laughs> Hamburger. Oh, I don't know. I you not say that. Okay. <laughs> As, falta una. What is your favorite movie? Ah, it's okay. I, his favorite movie is Trek. Trek. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Next. Next. Marina. One question. Marina, question. One question? Yes. Yeah, okay. Marina. Hi, Marina. Hello, Marina. Si gusta, me pregunta, me pregunta porque como que no está, ¿verdad? Ah, no ha activado el, el, el micrófono. Sí, está activado. Se activa ella, Marina. Yo respondo Maricel. entonces. Sí, yo respondo, Maricel. Maya. What's your color? What's your favorite color? My favorite color is green. Green. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is chicken. Rayuela. Rayuela. Okay. Okay. Hello. Bueno, entonces voy a preguntarle yo a él. Okay. What's your favorite color is? White. White. Blanco. Okay. Espérame que vamos a escribir. Uh, what your favorite food is? Um, no sé cómo se dice. Carne asada. Steak. 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 What your favorite uh, sport is? My favorite sport, um, basketball. Mm -hmm. Okay. What your favorite movie is? My favorite uh, movie is uh, Matrix. Mm. What your favorite book is? I don't know my favorite. I don't uh, book. No, uh, I have. ¿Cómo se dice? No tengo. I don't have. I don't have any. I don't have. I don't have any. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. No tiene, vamos a decir. No tengo. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Ahora okay. al revés. Yo pregunto. Sí. Bye, okay. Uh, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is. Brown. Café. Brown. Café, sí. Brown. Brown. Um, what, what is your favorite uh, uh, food? My favorite food is pizza. Pizza. Uh, what is your favorite uh, uh, sport? My favorite its sport is softball. 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 Okay. Uh, what did you favorite? Um, okay, movie? Movie. My favorite movie is Beauty and the Bats. What? Nice, the Bats. Beauty and the, the Bats. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Beauty in the bit. In beauty. In the bit. In beauty in the bit. The bit. Beast. 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 What is your favorite 
um, book? My favorite book is Anna Frank. Anna Frank. El diario de Anna Frank. Oh. Anna Frank Diary. Mm -hmm. What? Diary. You could say. Diary. Ajá, uh -huh, sí. Eso. Bueno. Creo que hemos terminado nosotros. You're done. Sí, okay. Porque tenemos todo. Pero ella misma We're no pasa acá. coming back. Vamos entonces de vuelta. Ok. Here we go. Ya terminó, chicos. ¿Qué? Okay. La clase en sala. No, nadie está oh, okay. emocionada. El trabajo en sala, sí. <risa> okay. Bueno, cuando yo los llamo así, este, les voy a explicar. Tienen 60 segundos para poder, si acaso les falta tal vez un poquitín, pueden quedarse 60 segundos como máximo. Ajá, sí. Uh -huh. que, que vengan inmediatamente, pero pues sí. Ya considerando que ya los llamé, ¿verdad? Not your favorite, ok. Okay. No, pero nos sacó de una vez. Mm, de verdad, porque sí les da 60 segundos según... De un solo empujón. No. Oh, ok, sorry. Un solo. No, pero sí dio, dio 60 segundos. Como, sí, verdad, sí, es que ahí le sale... Y no, el... ahí salía el regresivo, el, el tiempo, pero creo que exacto. nosotros puchamos ya lo que para salirnos. Sí, exacto. Entonces ahí ustedes cuando presionan, pues ya pueden volver. Pero Ajá. si no, a los 60 segundos automáticamente los va a sacar. So, you have that time okay. in case. Ok, let's share. So, let's see, Doris, who are you working with? ¿Con quién trabajó, Doris? Eh, trabajé con eh, Jennifer y con Janet y Jennifer con William. And Janet and William. Okay. Y William. So, tell me about Janet. What's Wilfredo. her favorite color? Wilfredo. Oh, Wilfredo, Wilfredo okay. William, perdón, <laughs> corrigiendo el nombre. <laughs> ok, that's fine. So, tell me about Janet. What's her favorite color? Doris, do you remember? Uh, my favorite color is oh. red. Janet's favorite color, ¿y el de Janet? El de Janet, creo que es red. Her favorite o sea, color eh, is... Your favorite, your favorite is color is red. Janet. Ok, in that case, we say her favorite color is red. Que estamos hablando de ella. Yeah. Her favorite color is yeah. red. Ok, what's her favorite food? Um, my Janet? favorite, ah, Janet, uh, yeah. Janet is the food, is pasta, is her your favorite, favorite uh, food is, is pasta. Her favorite food is pasta, okay, vamos a utilizar her favorite food, her favorite color, her favorite sport, cuando her, nos referimos her. a algo de, por ejemplo, de Janet en este caso. Si estuviéramos ah, hablando okay. de Wilfredo, entonces his. no decimos her, decimos his. Exactly. Ajá. Ahí entonces, pero eso es para responder. Exacto. Pero, eh, esa, esa, bueno, la, ¿cuál va a ser la pregunta entonces? Entonces, aquí vamos cambiando el your. Cuando le pregunto a usted directamente, le digo, what's your favorite color? Pero como estamos hablando del color favorito de Janet, What's her favorite color? Or what is Janet's What's favorite her... color? What is Janet? Uh -huh. Okay. What is her favorite color or what is Janet's favorite color? Okay, uh, one more, Doris. What's uh, Janet's favorite movie? Uh, uh, her favorite is movie The Janet is Ah, no recuerdo cuál me dijo, pero... Mm. Janet, que la ¿what's your favorite ella. movie? Mm -hmm. Ok. All right, good. Todo, Janet. Thank you, Doris. Mm -hmm. Ok. Thank you. Ok, let me choose somebody else to participate. Let's see, Julio Ortiz. Julio, who were you working with? ¿Con quiénes estaba trabajando? Eh, hola, buenas noches. Este, ¿Sí? Me uní un poco tarde a la reunión. Oh. Eh, pero solo tengo mis respuestas. Okay, la de los so, compañeros no las tomé. Ok, no te preocupes. So tell me about your favorite food. What's your favorite food? 
Uh, my favorite food is hamburger. Okay. And what's your favorite book? Uh, my favorite book is Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Nice. I like it too. Harry what's Potter. your favorite sport? Uh, excuse me? What's your favorite sport? Sport. Uh, my favorite sport is soccer. Soccer. You like soccer. Okay. Excellent. Thanks. Okay. Let me see somebody else to participate. Carla Angelica. Who are you working with? Con quien es estuvo trabajando? Con Maria Santos y Ana del Carmen. Okay. So tell me about uh, Maria. What's her yes. favorite color? Her favorite color is gold. Gold. What color? Gold. Gold. Dorado. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. what's her favorite food? Her favorite food is pasta. Pasta. Good. And tell me about her favorite book. What's her favorite book? Her favorite book is the Quixote. Okay. Thank you. One more participation that would be from a uh, Joaquin Ramirez. Joaquin, who are you working with? Con okay. quien es estaba trabajando, Joaquin? Con, Sal con Salvador y Marisela. Okay, tell me about Salvador. What's his favorite color? The Salvador her favorite is his favorite white. Okay, his, his, favorite, is his white. favorite color is white. Okay, and uh, what's his favorite, his favorite food? Color is, his favorite food is chickens. Uh, what do you mean, chicken? Chicken, yeah. It okay. is the same, the chinese. Ay, se comían oh. los chinos. <laughs> oh, Chinese, like Chinese food. Comida Chinese. china, Chinese food. <laughs> okay. All right, that's good. And uh, what's his favorite sport? His favorite sport is the box. box. You know, the boxing? What oh. do you say? Yeah, box. boxing. <laughs> okay, nice. Thank you for sharing, Joaquin. Okay, so that's how we okay. use it. Remember, whenever you're referring to something that, ref that that belongs to a girl or a woman, you use hair. When you're referring to a man or a boy, you use his. Recordemos. Y ahí vamos cambiando. Cuando le estoy preguntando a usted directamente, what's your favorite? Y recordar también acá eh, hay un cambio. Normalmente con el que hacemos la pregunta, con ese mismo respondemos. Por ejemplo... Let me write an example here. For example, cuando le digo, what's her favorite color? La respuesta debería ser, eh, oh, sorry. Her favorite color is, um, let's say, white. Entonces, usamos here en la pregunta, también here en la respuesta. Then um, we have another one. Let me get a different color. Teacher, teacher, me escucha. Tell me. Do you have a question? Hola. Sí, dígame. Sí, solo quería, quería ver si la pronunciación de eh, favorito en inglés. Favorite. Mande. Fa <clears throat> Excuse me. Favorite. 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 His favorite food is, his favorite, favorite. color is favorite. That's how we say. Favorite. Favorite. Yes. There you go. Oh, yeah. Favorite. Okay, favorite. so about this question, we have what's his favorite sport? His favorite sport is his soccer. Fav his favorite. His, so, his favorite sport is soccer. So you see again, we use his in the question and his in the answer. Estamos usando his en la pregunta, también his en la respuesta. Pero en el caso de your, vamos a hacer un cambio. 
So it would be the question, what's your favorite book? Okay. Then you would not say your favorite book. In ese caso, no vamos a decir your favorite book, vamos a decir my favorite book. Le estoy haciendo una pregunta directamente a usted. What's your favorite book? My favorite book it's is... Yes, let's say Jane Eyre. So there we go. Entonces recuerden, y esto va a pasar también en varias ocasiones cuando utilizamos los sujetos I and you por la misma, eh, por la misma forma, ¿verdad? En que hacemos las, las preguntas o las interacciones. Si yo le pregunto a usted, usted me responde con su propia información. Entonces va a ser your my and so on right now let's practice pronunciation everybody repeat please favorite 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 what's her favorite color her favorite color is white What's his favorite sport? His favorite sport is soccer. His favorite What's your favorite book? What's your favorite book? My favorite book is Jane Eyre. My favorite book is Jane Eyre. Okay, very well. Any questions? Tenemos preguntas? No. No. Okay, perfect. All right, let's continue then uh, by talking about our next topic, which is. Tell me. Diga. Teacher, uh, una pregunta. En el caso de hacer, al escribir la pregunta, el signo de interrogación de al inicio se coloca o solamente al final. En inglés solamente tenemos los signos de cierre, solamente los finales. Eso sucede ah, con okay. signo de interrogación y también con signo de admiración. Ah, okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Gracias. Thank you. No problem. Okay, Thank so you. let's continue by talking about the alphabet. Um, we have little time, but let's try to practice a bit so we get to learn it. Uh, our next lesson objective is by the end of this lecture, participants will be able to spell their names and the names of others. Vamos a aprender a deletrar, deletrar nombres propios y los nombres también de otros. So let's practice the alphabet. Everybody listen to me first. Bam, lo voy a decir una vez and then we repeat it, okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Let me get the spotlight. Okay, so we have A. 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 B. 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 C. 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 D, 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 E, 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 e F, 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 G, 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 H, 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 I, I, I J, 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 K, 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 K L, 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 M, 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 N, O, O, P, P, Q, Q, R, 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 S, S, T, T, U, U, V. D, 
Z. Z. Make it vibrate. Hay que hacerlo vibrar. Z. 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 Okay. All right. So let's say it one more time. A. 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 B. 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 C. C. D. D. E. 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 F. F. G. G. H. H. I. I. J. J. K. 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 L. 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 M. M. N. N. O. 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 P. P. Q. Q. R. 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 S. S. T. T. U. V. V. W. X. 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 Y. Y. Z. 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 Okay, good. So now let's talk about the differences. For example, we have a C. This is C. This one is Z. 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 Do you hear the difference? This one doesn't vibrate. C. C. Touch your throat. C. 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 It doesn't vibrate. It doesn't vibrate. It's así. Z, Z, it has a vibrate. Okay, and then we have B, 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 and this one is B, 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 Así como sacando los dientes. B, yeah, something like that. <laughs> B, okay, B. and then we have G and J. 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 And remember, this one is letter E. 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 I. I, 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 acá I, no nos confundamos porque tenemos la I en español, I, ¿verdad? Que sería I en in inglés. Este es And I, this one is I, I, La E, I, 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 La E, I. I, 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 I,
So continue practicing, Gracias. and I'll see Bye. you on Monday. Have a nice weekend. Good night. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good